Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time that you're watching this video. My name is Douglas Nemo, and I'm just continuing from where this video ended yesterday. Um, thanks to those who uh, um, alerted me on the video. I mean, the full one was not uploaded. It's very, very strange. I use this um, screen sharing software called Loom. The platform very very good but I think the whole the full video was not downloaded so I did it again today and I had a full one so I didn't even realize it so I just had to I got up for the comments and I was feeling so sleepy yesterday in front of the computer waiting for it to upload <laughs> okay so this is where I left off where the video stopped this part so this was the part this was where mm -hmm. so i want you to um i mean if you've not watched it watch it yes it was where i was showing the ghana one exactly here mm -hmm. exactly here. so it was this part this is where I was doing the search should I was just um, explain that these platforms are all search engines these platforms are search engines and um, people don't go through the categories they just um, type in what they want so I was explaining I used Ghana as example so when you type in Ghana in the search bar what comes up and then I said and this right here is my my own design where I've sold like um, 13 of those let me get some coffee coffee and um, honey very good mm -hmm. okay so this is where the video stopped I want you to um, get that piece want it to flow very nicely so that you can understand so this last part is crucial very very important so watch it to the end and after this video i'll give you some tips on when you're creating the account it's very very important otherwise your account can be banned from t public and it happens a lot so watch this and after this video i'll um i'll do another recording and show you okay so let me upload the video first. Right, okay. So let me give you an example. Now I come here and I type in Ghana. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so it brings up a lot of Ghana, Ghana stuff, Ghana products. Actually, this is my this is my my design, and I've sold 13. You see? So brings you different Ghana products different Ghana products you see you see okay and then we go back so you see nobody knows this design exists here nobody knows this design exists what they are looking for they are looking for ghana related products maybe they want a gift for independence day or something like that they want to football match they want to gift somebody something so they will just put in the keyword or the tag or the search term to find what's available and then they'll go through if the design resonates with them they buy it okay so Let's go back. So what one tag would I say to find your design? Let's put in grasshopper. See, grasshopper. It's already there. Now it says supporting tags. What other relevant tags would customers use to find your design? So when once you pick the, let, let's say the key, the main tag, you get a supporting tag. So click here. When you click here, sometimes, yeah, it brings other 
and attack slow so let's pick insect nature um, butterflies no okay let's type in grasshopper grasshopper grasshoppers uh -huh. grasshopper lover grasshopper lover okay grasshopper lover right grasshopper fighter I don't know which one does this but let's let's pick that one too okay and then good you can take I think up to 13 or 15 tags but, but that's fine now now let's come to this part this is very important if you don't check this you can't continue see does this design contain mature content such as nudity or other adult themes no good now you see the design so this is where you choose the default color you see it goes on when it comes to this this one um, for example this one let's pick this one you see there are many colors but the default color I chose was black so if you choose the default color here is the color that will be shown to the customer but the customer can choose different one if I want to choose this one I can choose this one you see mm -hmm. this one you see this one because of the yellow it won't match well so the default color is the color that will be shown to the customer okay so I think this one will be nicer on the black black is good the black one will ah look at that there is, there is this guy it's a quick change he does videos very educative but funny videos he says look at that beautiful so you see once you choose the uh when you choose the default the fourth color it affects all the other products except sometimes the hoodie but this one the hoodie was chosen so we have to take the baseball tee choose this one okay nice now we are getting there so look at all the products now look at these are all the products so one design for all the products now we click here and then we publish now we are creating the products boom they are there it's in the marketplace look at that <laughs> <laughs> look at that put in the comments below if you I mean <laughs> if you won't buy this <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's, it's something I think I'm, I'm going to order it myself but well, this is this is beautiful so I just captured the moment by the way my background is photography <laughs> so capture scenes moments I saw this captured it just using your phone you see the products I've created when somebody buys now remember I told you the um, the first one this is on a sale you see it in two days in three three days after three days it goes back to the original price so now they have the female fit and the male fit the styles look at the products they have here they have different products you have v-neck you can have the same one in v-neck you can have the same one in um, let's say this one tri blend t-shirt and then do have you have the sizes here if you go to if you take the female one You can also have uh, like curvy t shirt You see, so you have you can you can, you can pick black. Mm -hmm. It's charcoal heater. So you have different products, different sizes. You see, right? So let's see the other products. Mm, this is a sticker. This is a sticker this sticker is nice so this is a sticker 
You see, so people who love nature, nature lovers. You see, nature lovers. So I can even edit the the title and add like nature lovers. Now let's go back and see the other products. Look at the mug. Look at the mug. You see, so people who love nature, you know, like myself. Let's see the, let's see the war art. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's loading. Yeah, you see, posters and art prints. So just one design goes on to so many products. And that's the power of print on demand. So now I've done this work once. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to upload the same design. All I have to do is to add more designs. More designs. They have large, extra large, different sizes, you know. Yes. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. Good. So just to recap. Just you see the phone, the phone case. So this is the phone case. See, I didn't go to China. I didn't go to Dubai. Just in my office here, <laughs> I created the products. So that's the beauty of a print on demand. As a matter of fact, the first two years on selling on, on Amazon. After two years, that's when an odd I ordered one of my products just to have the feel of it. You see, so. To recap, we got an idea. I created, um, I, I uh, worked on it on Photoshop. I mean, you can also use Canva to create your designs. But if you use an image like this, you can come to come to use Photoshop or Canva.com, and then you can, you know, create a PNG file. Then you go to T Public. Create an account if you don't have an account i will just put a link there you can create an account and then um then you upload a design you can just watch the video and just do it you see but if you want to deep dive there is more to it like for example your store styling your your store um more about the search engine optimization stuff like creating categories and um they call it albums creating all these things like making sure you you have a store that your products can be indexed yes so if you want to go deep if you want to learn more about print on demand i mean just um send me an email below the description I'll, I'll put an email i'll put an email there send me an email and if you're interested i can send you other videos that you can watch and then you can take things to the next level but whatever you do whatever you do make sure you are building an online business if it's not a physical product create a digital product business but whatever the case make sure you find a way to end dollars whilst you are here in africa right so thank you for watching i hope this is helpful hope this video helps you and if you have questions let me know or send me an email and then uh we take it from there thanks a lot and god bless you bye all right so that was the video the full video the part two from yesterday the one that was not uh, uploaded that bit so now that video is um, is ended now. So I just want to add uh, a few bits to it, as I said in the beginning. So I said um, the the previous video, I think from yesterday, I mentioned that when you get a sale on T Public, they will just notify you because your email address is stored on their platform so your email address is stored in their platform so they will just send you a notification every time you get a sale so as you can see here you've made a sale here you've made a sale you've made a sale congrats you've made a sale you've made a sale 
you've made a sale. So you see a lot of you've made a sale, you've made a sale, you've made a sale. <laughs> and that's one of the most beautiful emails that <laughs> you can get. Every time you make you make a sale, you get a publication uh, notification. So let me show you, let me give you one, one or two tips about T Public, for example. Just um, a quick one. Right, so like I said, don't make your store spammy. T Public can ban you when they realize you know you just create an account and there is nothing there, no design. Um, enter it as a proper business, proper that like you really mean business. You do your cover art, you can do that um, on Canva. Um, when you go to Canva.com, you can sign up, create a cover art, you can do that in Photoshop. Just do something there, put some. This is my shop, so just put some, um, some logo here, some icon here. You can upload a new icon, take the old one up, down, and then you have it. And they have something called albums here, you know. You have albums here that you can create, um, uh, like categories, you know. That's what you can do. You can create that one too. So just make sure um, you do those so that they don't, your account doesn't look like it's, it's spammy. That's very, very important. Once you just create an account, and then you just leave it there there's nothing in you know work at it like you are working on a proper business the information that i've given you is the same information i give to my my paid students but i decided to share with you so that a lot of people can help many people and also just give people a taste of how the print or demand e-commerce works also uh okay that's that's the main thing right let me quickly go through some of the comments that I had yesterday from the first video. Let me quickly. I've answered all of them. Yes, I've answered all of them. But um, one um, person was asking, say, I would love if you can do a video on how to create a PayPal account in Ghana. Because it's been a challenge for me to create one. Uh, unfortunately, you can't create a PayPal account here. Um, PayPal account was um, PayPal blacklisted Ghana, I think, in two, 2004, alongside with Nigeria and other countries because of credit card fraud and stuff. So Ghana is still blacklisted, and I think um, we should be whitelisted. I mean, this is blocking. They should review it and, you know, maybe uh, make it easier for, you know, many people who want to do online business here in ghana because it's it's a pain but there are other alternatives and one is um a site called um uh, 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 pioneer let me see if i can find pioneer here pioneer so you can use um can use pioneer as well pioneer is um it's um um, um t public accept pioneer too so t public either paypal or pioneer the amazon the same so there are a lot of people who don't use paypal they use pioneer so this is a piece of information i just want to add um so if you check pioneer you see a universal feature for commerce so they have um a whole lot of um possibilities for online i mean doing business online let me show you here for example they have the um the yes for e-commerce mm -hmm. ebay walmart you know wayfair amazon i mean airbnb all those platforms you can use pay -pay -pay yeah, it's, it's huge it's huge and you can also get their card they have like a, like like a credit card stuff that you can use at any atm if you have your money in your account and you can withdraw it so sign up to pay pioneer if you don't have paper don't let that um, hold you back there are many options online okay i think that that's the main one and then there is um let me just quickly check this one mm -hmm. i think i've gone through all the comments here 
let me just check quickly right so i'm just looking at this screen i've got two screens here and yes i've answered all one phone francis is a francis say hello mr Nemo. you are a very brilliant teacher please start e-commerce training school for local community you can choose to start a discourse server for extended discussion on this skill yes so uh, i replied yes thank thanks a lot mr francis yes um like i said um i replied um, teaching is my passion i mean i remember when i was <clears throat> sorry when i was in primary school mm. coffee is finished <laughs> i remember when i was in primary school in state experimental in kumasi i was in p7 and then i was in p7 and then um when one of the teachers would um would be absent um, I'll be called to teach the lower classes and then when I went to sixth form in Opukuare, um I used to teach my fellow um, um, A-level students economics and um, and my my dream all the time was to become economics professor <laughs> but I ended up being digital marketing um, I mean and online entrepreneurship stuff which I love I love a lot and also personal development mindset and and stuff so teaching is i love teaching i did even in the uk i did um some teaching um certificates um for long long life learning yeah for adults yeah like professional development and stuff so i, I love i love to teach and um like i said it's something that we are looking into like getting a place where we can empower the local community, especially in the area of data, um, knowledge, and personal development mindset. Because a lot of people think they need, they have to travel in order to, you know, to make money. But they don't realize that with the power of the internet, you can live anywhere. You just have to live local and think global. You can live anywhere. And you have sites like pioneer here they make things easier for you and I, I have a good friend in jamaica who he was making like those days like ten thousand dollars online and he was using pioneer and he was selling on amazon you see so with the right mindset right mental attitude and digital marketing skills anyone you can live anywhere and just monetize your your, your knowledge you know so that's why i do this kind of training to 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 empower you to to just help you to think that it is possible it is possible i mean i've been here with my family we're getting to one and a half years we'll be 15 months in ghana next week and um our entire business is built online so that's why i want to show people it's possible if eight of us can live here with the income that we make online you can also do it so um that's it for today i think yes oh yeah let me check the other comments too uh, anthony anthony tony ahin official thanks a lot for the support bro <laughs> and then um yes the hebrews uh we might collective yes i answered that one Thank you. I've uploaded the second part. Thank, thanks for um, letting me know about the about the the break in the first one. Yes, Mr. Jemai Nicholas. Thanks. Yes, I've uploaded it now. Okay, so I think I've gone through all of them. I've replied all the comments. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll keep. Um, sharing my knowledge with you so that together we progress and change lives together god bless you bye